What is up guys? It's time for Nolan back at it again with another crypto video. Thank you guys for tuning in. You guys are awesome. If you're new here, subscribe, bell icon, get notified when I post new videos because it's all time sensitive. In today's video, you already know what we're going to do. Number one, we got to talk about cryptocurrency market. Absolutely ripping up another 4.36% on the day. Why is that? Is it because we had the FOMC meeting yesterday and Jerome Powell came out and raised interest rates by a measly 25 basis points? A lot of people were thinking we were going to see a 50 basis point rate hike yet again, but this time only 25 basis points. Is that the reason why the markets are rallying? We're going to talk about it. And then, of course, we got to talk about Cardano's brand new stablecoin, Jed, dropping yesterday attracting so much attention so much money already thrown into this project on day one what is it going to do for the cardano DeFi ecosystem as a whole i'm going to make sure to tell you guys my thoughts on this particular project and then of course last thing we have to do we have to talk about it we can't ignore this topic any longer we got to talk about alley cats the brand new cardano nft project that has gained the number one spot for most volume in a single day attracting over 1 million ADA in volume in under 24 hours, beating out Ormob for that number one spot. So is this another ripoff project? Is this another, uh, you know, <laughs> complete ripoff project? I'm going to make sure to tell you guys my thoughts on this. We're going to cover everything you guys need to know. So make sure you guys stay tuned until the end of this video so you don't miss out on any of this important information. As always, first thing you have to do, take a quick look at the cryptocurrency market. As you guys can see, Market's looking fantastic today. It's a great day to be in crypto. We're chilling 4.36% up on the day. $1.09 trillion, almost at that $1.1 trillion, trillion. Of course, Bitcoin leading the charge. Like I always say, when Bitcoin moves, what happens, guys? The market follows. Bitcoin yesterday literally reaching up over that $24,000 range. It seems like every time I make a video, that point of resistance slash support has gone up by $1,000. We're now at $24,000 for that point of resistance slash support. I think we're going to crack it and turn that resistance into support. I think it's going to happen today. A lot of prominent crypto YouTubers are saying 25K is coming, but we're going to have a pullback. I always say no one really knows. Bitcoin does what Bitcoin wants to do. And that's why you need to have a long-term strategy. I always say long-term is the only way to do crypto. Unless you're totally a gambling person. Best case scenario is long-term strategy, right? I'm talking three to five, maybe even 10 years, something crazy like that. That's, that's my, how I look at it. Put your money in, forget about it. Come back in 10 years. I guarantee that the price will be higher than it is when you buy it. But of course, my financial advice is my particular opinion. Anyway, moving on along, Ethereum up over 16, almost up to that $1,700 range. I love to see it, 6% up on the day. Of course, BNB up to the three, almost 330, love to see it. XRP up over 41 cents and Cardano, bada bing, bada boom. We're finally up over 40 cents, love to finally see it. Now, can we make a push higher? Can we make a push to that 50 cents range? I've been calling for it for quite some time. I'm telling you, Cardano, the strange thing about Cardano is it tends to range, right? It gets stuck in these channels, does not move, does not move, does not move. But once it does start moving, it does not stop. I'm sure you guys remember last bull market, everything started ripping. Cardano stayed still for quite some time. And then bing, bang, boom, just started ripping like mad. So I'd love to see it. Cardano, 50 cents coming right around the corner. Dogecoin, gotta love Dogecoin. Now look. I've been saying it for a long time, Dogecoin, the only real hope for Dogecoin is, uh, you know, being incorporated into Twitter. There is a great chance that that's going to happen. Like I said the other day, Elon Musk came out and uh, offered to eat a Big Mac on television, live TV, if McDonald's accepts payment in Dogecoin. So I guarantee that that is coming. It is in the works. It's just going to take a couple of days, maybe a couple of weeks, maybe a couple of months. You know, once companies get big enough, once they're, sh they're so large, they're massive bureaucracies, everything takes time. But just give it some time. McDonald's will be accepting Dogecoin. What do you think is going to happen? That price is going to absolutely rip. But anyway, let's move on along real quick. Just quickly got to mention, Fed raises the rates by a quarter of a point. 25%, 0.25% is what that raise was. 
And he did, uh, Jerome Powell actually did come out and hint at raising rates next month as well. So we are not out of the woods yet. Some people were thinking this would be the final rate increase, but that's not the case. Jerome Powell made it explicitly clear that we will be continuing to raise rates until they've reached the goal of 2% inflation, which who knows when that's going to happen. I personally think they're going to stop at 5% because that's what they've said in the past. Right now, I think we're at 4.5%. So a couple more months, two more rate increases, and I think we should be good. But anyway, moving on along, I did quickly want to talk about some of these NFT projects uh, that, you know, seems that we are having a pullback in some of these uh, floor prices, namely Play Nation dropping all the way down to 3,700 ADA floor price. Now, here's what I will say. You gotta love it. You gotta love it. Why? Because this project is going nowhere. This is the premier project for NFTs on the Cardano blockchain. They have the most notoriety, they have the greatest collaborations, dopest artwork, I'm sorry, totally original, handmade, you know what I mean? This project is going nowhere. They have amazing things in the pipeline. As a matter of fact, the Clay Nation team themselves have hinted at two major drops in the next couple of months. They did not say explicitly what those drops were going to be, but they are coming. So the fact that the floor price just dropped by like 400 ADA, almost $100, that's a pretty big deal, I will say. So if you're looking at trying to scoop up some Clay Nation NFTs, right now might be an opportunity that uh, you don't want to miss out on. Anyway, moving on along, MySphere, I did make a video about this project a couple days ago, said it might be beneficial to scoop up some of these NFTs below mint price. Because as you guys know, this project just minted out, like every other project. Right after they mint out, people like to list things at a loss. I don't understand it. You don't understand it. Nobody understands it. But they definitely listed at a loss considering the price of uh, these NFTs at mint was 160 ADA. And when I made that video, I think they were chilling at around 105 ADA. Now, immediately after I made that video, for the next two days, the price went all the way up to almost mint price. And now we're back down a little bit. But I did just want to mention that because that's exactly what you're looking for with certain projects, you know. If you're trying to be a flipper, right, you're, you're trying to look for projects that mint out, immediately go under floor price. You scoop them up right after that initial... Uh, What's the opposite of FOMO? Whatever that's called, the opposite of FOMO. After that initial wave of people trying to sell their NFTs because they're scared, you buy those up and then you start listing them much higher than what you bought them for for an immediate profit. But of course, that's just flipping. Some people don't like flipping, but guys, let's be realistic here. We're in the space to make money. People that don't acknowledge that, they're liars. Anyway, moving on along, I did quickly want to talk about Jed. Um, I guess since we're talking about Jed, we're talking about DeFi, so I wanted to talk about TVL on Cardano. It did have a significant spike yesterday, as you guys can see. Something crazy like 40 million ADA spike, and 27 million of that was, of course, the Jed stablecoin. So we did see a massive spike in TVL on the Cardano blockchain, thanks to Jed rolling out. Now, this is probably going to continue to go up, and you know, as time goes on and the bugs are fixed, I'm sure there's going to be bugs with Jed. I'm sure there's going to be issues with Jed. A lot of people like to hold off and not put money into new projects for a couple of weeks, maybe a couple of months, just to make sure there's no problems, right? So once that initial phase of fear kind of fades uh, kind of uh, I do expect the TVL for Cardano to continue to go up. But overall, I would say that the rollout of Jed was a success so far. But of course, only time will tell, right? It is an over-collateralized algorithmic stablecoin. And as you guys know, algorithmic stablecoins are kind of scary. As we saw with Terra Luna, there is still a potential of a depegging. And it could cause a big problem in Cardano's ecosystem if that did ever happen. It is an if, right? It's not like it's going to happen. But if it does ever happen, it will be a problem. I just wanted to make sure to mention that to you guys just in case, you know, check out Jed for yourself. Do your own research. It's definitely awesome that we have a stablecoin on Cardano because stablecoin is the backbone of DeFi. So now that we have stablecoins on Cardano, DeFi is ready and primed for launch. Let's get it.
Anyway, moving on along, final topic. We have to talk about it. Alley cats. You guys, I'm sure you've seen this circulating on Twitter, crypto Twitter. People going crazy with the tweet talking about alley cats. I saw this one tweet and I thought it was hilarious and I just felt like sharing it with you guys. I love supporting projects with originality, so I minted a few alley cats. How did I do? You guys get it? I'm sure you guys get it. You guess you guys get the joke. It's that one of the alley cats is it's not an alley cat. That's a boss cat rocket club. And look, it's not very original. It's literally the same exact design. So you know what I mean? It's just funny because we always see this in the NFT space. Recycled projects. How many how many NFT monkey projects are there? Too many to count. Is this a bad thing or does it not really matter? I'm more on the side of not really caring. Who cares? Because it's more about the community, right? And we're here to make money. Let's just be realistic. If we can all make money with this project, that's what really matters at the end of the day. And if the community is strong enough, then the project will be successful. That's all that matters, guys, at the end of the day. But anyway, let's take a quick look at this project. So just so you guys can know, it literally just minted out yesterday. Floor price already chilling at 309 ADA. But anyway, this right here, the whole idea is Web3 gaming and streetwear. It's an NFT project that will onboard users to Cardano through gaming, streetwear, and Web3. The story is the birth of the destruction. Cats living in a government-controlled dystopia constantly monitored and forced to conform to the standards. In an attempt to take back their freedom and avert mutual assured destruction, they begin to express themselves through creative means such as clothing, art, and music. Finding their only privacy in alleyways and staying off the grid, the alley cats have been branded as a destruction, thus giving birth to the destruction. Join the destruction. Boom. They're going to actually have tangible clothing. Most projects do this. I think it's cool that they're going to do it as well. As long as they execute, as long as the artwork looks dope, it's all that really matters. So very cool. I can't wait to see that. Roadmap. Let's see. They had... The birth of destruction, CNFTCon, meet and greet. I was there. I actually didn't see them. Interesting. Anyway, they had the website, Discord, art, meme contest, collaboration giveaway, website, mint date revealed. And then, of course, destruction is live. That was yesterday, the mint. And then here we go. Here are the dope cats. You guys know that artwork looks cool. I'm not going to lie. I am a fan of the artwork. I think it looks cool. It's somewhat unique. Even though they kind of stole some of the traits from other cats, but whatever. We can look past that. One was a mint. It was yesterday. Collection size is going to be 10,000 minus one. The mint price, I believe, was like 100 ADA, something like that. So we're already at like a 3X. So shout out to everyone. Why Cardano? We don't even need to look there. You guys already know why Cardano because it's the best fucking blockchain west of the Mississippi. Fastest, cheapest. You already know what's good. Most decentralized. That's why we're here, baby. That's why we're here. But anyway, if you guys are interested in this project, check it out. I, I do think that this has the potential to explode. I really do. I, I can see over a thousand floor price on this project. Easy. And that's just because the community. To me, that's really what will determine the floor price with this project. The community. You guys see it. I'm telling you. You guys see it on Twitter. You guys see the people. You see the hype. You know it's not a joke. Don't be fooled. All right. That's all I have for you guys today. If you guys made it this far, you guys are awesome. Smash that like button. Drop a comment down below. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Try to post daily CNFT videos for you guys. If that's something you're into, follow along. But you guys have a beautiful day, a beautiful night, wherever you guys are. Dylan is out.